with Dave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Play With Dave and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. It is time to go time traveling. We got the amulet just how we want it. Now, where do I want to go first? I need to go... think... yeah, Truce Canyon. Because it's a... well, actually, no. I don't want to go to Truce Canyon first. That's the opposite of what I want to do. Okay, so how this works, it's it's exactly like, you know, real-life time travel, you know, anything you do in the past affects the future. So, some of these treasure chests that are in, like, our time, we're going to lean square. I think there's one, there's one in the town, there's one at the castle, and if you get them in the past, then they're not going to be there in the future. But... If you start off in the future and then go backwards in time, then you're going to get double the rewards. It's it's going to be the same thing in the box, but, you know, it's better to have two than one, right? So, I think, let's see. Yeah, true sin. Should be in here. Indeed. This box has been handed down for generations. So should you somehow manage to open it, you're welcome to its contents. So we just use the pendant and bing bada boom, blue vest. So we go to the to the inn in 600 and it's going to be another blue vest. But um, I'm going to head up to the castle and get that one. So that's kind of what I was talking about in the last episode. Um, it's really neat how it works. I, I like that mechanic that they put in. Did I ever get? Yeah, I did. I just wanted to make sure I got the... Maybe it was down here. I think it'll... I think it was down there in 600 like it's in different positions anyway so yeah i thought that was a really neat mechanic of this game um oh god i'm gonna have to fight these guys but i'm gonna go ahead and cut away for now so i can get the rest of these boxes uh because we're not quite ready to go to uh the future and you know open up that door that robo was talking about it is imperative that we go and do that um to continue on the story but this is just kind of a you know little section to you know get some stuff that you don't have that you know if you want to i mean the the blue vet there's like a blue vest a white vest and uh, a red vest and i can't really think of a time where i used the blue or the white but the red vest they definitely come in handy later oh and there's also a black vest but Anyway, I'm going to go and visit all these boxes, and I'll be back in just a hot second. Oh, wait, I can't go in there. Oh, I got to have... That's right. I got to have... Uh, I got to have Marley in my party. And I'll go ahead and I'll show you this. It's just like a little little extra cutscene here. Princess Nadia! Oh, it's him. You had me worried, Princess! I understand your feelings, of course. The king places his realm above all else. It was the same even when your mother queen, Eliza, passed away. What? <laughs> oh, child, please forget I spoke. Tell me! It's difficult to speak of even now. You see, Queen Eliza's condition had been frail for some time, but it took a sudden turn for the worse near the end. She desperately wanted to see her father just one last time. But your father refused said he could not leave his work unattended. He left you, young, innocent, and knowing nothing of death, to watch over her alone. Naturally, the end was not long in the coming. She died soon after. One might, have, one might well say the king killed her. Such a shame. Father? Killed her? Please, I speak too much. Do not trouble... Do not let it trouble you, your highness. Now that you've finally returned, won't you go and see the king? So he's just trying to stir the pot and make shit bad for um, Marley and... Oh, I call her Marley, but her, it's Princess Nadia. But yeah, he's just trying to stir the pot and make shit bad for her. But anyway, it's not its not going to work. We know better than that. I mean, we could talk to him and uh, there would be a, like a little more continuation. She pretty much just says she's gonna leave and not gonna come back it's it's not super important to what we're doing so right now i'm just looking for that box i think it's up over here 
Uh, da, 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 da. Might be up this staircase. Anyway, I was going to pause anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, we're back. Uh, there was one other thing that before we go to the feature that I needed to show you guys, and I n never really knew what the si significance of this is. They call it the Forest Ruins, but you got this big seal thing here. I don't really know. My pendant! Yeah, you hold it up and it reacts to it and it kind of breaks this seal over whatever. I don't, like I said, I don't really know what the significance of this is. You know, when, how it got here, who put it here. I just know that I wandered here once I got the pendant and this happened and you end up getting some pretty cool equipment for it. So you get a choice. He shows up. <laughs> I always loved how these guys look. The seal is broken. I will give to you the treasure crafted by the Guru of Reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which will guard your life. Think well and choose whichever you need the most. 13,000 years was a very long time. Balthazar, I go to you now. 13,000 years, so, I mean, yeah, he, he's been around since the time period that we just came from, so, I don't know. Uh, but what's cool is that this game has a New Game Plus feature, so whichever one you choose, you know, you can finish the game and then start a new one, and then you can end up getting, you know, whichever other one that you didn't pick. But for my first go-around, I always pick the weapon, just because, I mean, I'm all about that attack, man. Um, and it's a sword for Chrono, so we'll go ahead and put it on there. There we go. All right, now we got to get out of here and get our butts to the future. Um, I'm trying to think. I think if I just yeah, if I go to Protodome, it'll take me right there. That's the only way I can go too, because I haven't unlocked the other portal on the other side that links from uh, the forest in our present time. But I think that's this middle one. And I think, yeah, I'm going to have to go through the sewer. I haven't gone through the sewer yet. It shouldn't be that bad. It won't take me that long either. It's kind of easy. If, if you can do it early, and it's a bit of a challenge, but you can wait and do it like here, and it's not that big of a deal at all. Oh, am I going to have to? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to race on the bike again in order to get where I need to go. Okay, so going to pause again. I'll be right back. All right, blah, blah, blah. Come on, there we go, finally. All right, back in control. And we're going down Maya to the abandoned sewers. Eek! Outsiders, better report to Crawley. Mm-hmm, you better report to Crawley, all right. Tell them trouble's come. Okay, so like I said, when you come here uh, later rather than sooner, you're a much higher level than any of these guys and they don't put up any kind of resistance at all. You just smash right through them. You don't even get that much experience, even though I just leveled up. Oh boy. Put your tongue up, you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna catch something. <laughs> there was a bridge here. I, I saw it. I swear, Reddit. It got up and walked away? Ribbit? Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here at all, Ribbit. But it's true, Ribbit. I keep saying Ribbit <laughs> like it's part of their vernacular. Someone's coming! Let's scram, Ribbit! <laughs> like it's not just a natural croak. It's just like they're, they're saying a Ribbit for the sake of saying Ribbit. It's pretty awesome. Anyway. Come on, guys. Let's go. This place is a tad on the spooky side. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's just all for show. Now, here's the thing. This this room is nothing but traps. If, if There's all kinds of things laying around, but don't interact with it because it's a trap. You know, it's a trap! But, um, yeah, if you interact with anything, monsters will come out and it just wastes your time. And you gotta fight more than you want to. So, we'll just beat these guys up. Oh, quit smacking me. There we go. Perfect. Blah, blah, blah. 
All right. Um, I think there's a switch in this wall. Yeah. Flip the switch, open the door. You walk through this wall, up and around, and out you go. And we're going to see the frogs again. They're too short. <laughs> Looks like you just have to press the switch, and the bridge will extend across, Rivet. <laughs> so, switch it on already, Rivet. <laughs> Rivet! <laughs> I can't reach it, Rivet. It's like they're, it's like they're, it's, maybe that's how they cuss instead of like a actual cussing. They just say ribbit. Like, fuck! <laughs> and you call yourself a frog, ribbit. Someone's coming. Let's scram, ribbit. Okay. Bye-bye. I don't think we have to see them again. I think that's the last. Oh, no, no, they're going to talk to Crawley. That's right. And, oh, Crawley's up there. Duh. Okay. So no, we don't have to talk to them again. <laughs> There's three of them and they're almost here. Waltzing through the sewers like they own the place, huh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach them a little respect. Yes, yes we will. <laughs> Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when we're done. <laughs> and they're just they're laughing back and forth blah 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 blah, getting louder and we're just standing right here taking it all in and he sees us and he's like all right i'm out <laughs> hmm crawley's like oh shit my backup's gone but you just hit him once or no maybe twice that's right if it was a critical hit it would have been once maybe maybe four times there we go I was gonna say, it doesn't really take much, but he dies like he was a boss, so I think if you came in here sooner, it would have been more of a big deal, but, you know, th at this point it's not. I didn't even know this was an area that I had to come to until, you know, I was actually playing it for the first time. I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? And I just started, like, walking around places that I'd never been. I think I even went... There's a there's another lab that you can explore, I think, or at least another section that you can go to that I didn't go to. Oh no, that's right, the uh, the highway. If you don't race Johnny, you can just walk, and there's just like a whole another area, a bunch of monsters and stuff. So I even did that. I had no idea what I was supposed to do, and I finally wandered in here, and stuff started happening. And so I was like, well, I'll just play this out. But I didn't understand like why it was going so well, why I was so much stronger than them, but. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, uh, I can get this chest up here, but is it worth it? Am I even... oh, it's over here. Okay, I'll beat you guys up. This this chest probably isn't even worth it. I'm probably just wasting my time. Ah, uh, hum dum de dum Come on. More. Bingo. Okay, what's in here? Oh, 600. Okay, yeah. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Alright. So, we'll go out the exit. Right here. And then we don't have to mess with those stupid sewers again. Now this place, uh, Death Peak... We're not ready for that yet. We'll we'll come back to that. That's that's later. Here we are. This is where we needed to go. Please do not disturb my slumber. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> okay, we'll leave you alone. We we just came to open up the door. There we go. Ooh, what's this? You who have opened the door. I am Balthazar, the Guru of Reason, and formerly of the Kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature, uh, the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Yeah, we witnessed that, didn't we? We saw that firsthand. Lavo's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. We also saw that! <laughs> we were right there! In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, 
or nest, as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions, whose host is the planet itself. So yeah, what he does is he's pretty much a, an alien parasite. He lands on a planet, burrows deep underground, he and it, it even affects like DNA and evolution itself as, as it co comes to find out. And then, you know, once he's strong enough to come up to the surface, he just takes over and then starts making uh, spawns to do the same thing. And then they'll leave the planet and the cycle repeats. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and, and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age of such as this. An endeavor I fear may be f futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ah, yeah. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way. And as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold of the reins of time, and let all the people of the planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door, and claim what awaits you. My last and greatest work, The Wings of Time. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, I love The Wings of Time. The Time Machine. It's so cool. I mean, it starts off kind of like, oh, okay, but it gets a lot better. I mean, look at it. It's so cool! Who doesn't want a time machine? Look at this thing. This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings, The Wings of Time. Wow, this is amazing! Which in... Do you, which end do you suppose is the front? Uh, probably the one with the cockpit, Marley. Jeez. I mean, I know you're a sheltered princess and everything, but come on. Well, you go to leave and then... Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> he just shows up. It's like, oh, here, here's the rest of it. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain, namely how to transcend time. I know he's Balthazar, but I mean, he's still the same creature as all the other ones, so I think I just think it's funny to give him all the same voice. Press X to display the time gauge. And you know what an X button is? <laughs> then select the era you wish to visit. Oh, uh, yes. It's my nap time. I'm done talking. <laughs> You're like, hey, wake up! Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Uh, is it, I think it's the Epoch, or the Epoch. I can't really remember how to pronounce that, but yeah, we'll just, we'll run with that name. Well then, hop aboard. I think there's a, there should be a cutscene right here. As soon as we get elevated up. There we go. Alright, take off. Uh, we need to go to the end of time. And we're off. I, th I think the cutscene's gonna play now. Yep, here it goes. A more detailed version of what you just saw. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, now I gotta fix my recording. Oh, nope, it's back. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Yeek! What the hell? The fucking time machine disappeared. Is that supposed to happen? I think that's a glitch. Even in my time, we did not have vehicles capable of time travel. The Epoch's capable of this? I did, they didn't specify who was supposed to be talking there, but... Oh, here we are. Back at the end of time. Hell yeah. Now we got a time machine. And my game crashed. 
<laughs> okay, I was going to go ahead and end it there anyway. So, uh, yeah, the next episode, we got to get back to the Dark Ages and, yeah, see about stopping them from drawing the power of lava. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Ray. See ya!